Hey guys, sorry about that. I just started to do a video and it got a race. We're in the mountain area, which is a little bit weird. So we're walking up to um, the community center, staying in an Airbnb. I uh, had to reach out to you guys, super excited. We're leaving to go down to Salt Lake from Park City to stay with friends of ours just for the day. Eric Kerr, the owner of Draw Shop. Our boys are friends from our retreats. Uh, have a fun day planned uh, before I go do a keynote. Uh, but the reason I'm reaching out to you today is uh, we had a teachable moment the other day in Wyoming that I had to share. A lot of you guys know, say hi sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Very funny. Um, that we are very um, insistent on teaching financial intelligence because I just think it's something I didn't learn, my parents didn't ever get taught. And it makes a difference and it's not about worshiping money, it's just understanding how it works a little bit better with some solid principles. So the other day we were in uh, Wyoming and we had a guy pull up to us at the RV we resort at for um, for the day, and he had the identical unit, identical unit that we had at at the park. And we started to talk to him, and see the boys had helped us pick out the RV, and we took about a year to pick one. We researched what they looked like because we bought an RV this year. We researched it, we rented some, we test drove them, and we tried to make the boys a part of the process. And I talked to them about how you try to look for a good deal. And we shopped around, then we also figured out when we're not using it, we could rent it, um, which was important. That's in my blood just to not waste things. If you buy an asset, make sure it's performing for you. So we're talking to this guy, beautiful guy, 70 years old, had four arms, three times thicker than me, Vietnam vet. He was coming back from seeing the wall for the first time. Uh, he lost his best friend in combat. So first lesson, being a teachable moment, I try to teach the boys respect for veterans just because I have family and I feel it's not a political thing, but if people have had that kind of bravery, you should, uh, you should respect them. So we listened to his story and then came the financial lesson. And what he said was, do you mind me asking me how much you paid for your unit from our RV? Because they were identical. And I said, yeah, out the door was $80,000. And his, his mouth kind of dropped. He said, oh, I spent one twelve five, And just a light bulb went off. Because we've been trying to teach our boys something called trading ranges, that if you look for a deal, you can get the same thing for a better price compared to just paying retail and not be impulsive on your buys. This guy had gone to, again, a beautiful man. We really uh, had a great conversation. But he had gone into an RV show on a whim and got sold into it, signed papers, boom. Paid, you know, more than $30,000 than we did. And as soon as we pulled out, said goodbye to him, the four of us, the older group, sat in the front of the RV and talked about it. And finally, what we've been trying to teach with, how do you search for a better deal? How not to be impulsive on your buys? Um, the boys got it and they were talking about it. They also talked about, wow, that was a powerful story for him to say that he lost his best friend in combat next to him and went to the Vietnam Wall for the first time. So it was a lesson in, in many ways, uh, not only for respect, but also financial intelligence that we were really proud that the boys could see we spent 80, he spent 112.5, which is just a simple principle that I think if they move forward with as they grow up, it's gonna help them. Because I've been really foolish with money in my life uh, I'm still not perfect, but I think that if we can teach our kids these simple lessons and they're a part of it, like they helped be a part of buying our RV, it was very applicable. Um, so it was a really exciting lesson that I wanted to share with you guys. So anyway, we are going into the community center now, uh, super excited for the next week. Uh, we're actually hosting a key, I'm doing a keynote speech for a large group of financial advisors tomorrow on family life. Uh, we're hosting a group of families, um, on Friday in Eden, Utah, and then um, we're teaching at Mastermind Talks on Tuesday. So it's going to be a busy week, uh, but super excited. And anyway, just want to share that with you guys. You know, try to have teachable moments. Let your kids be involved. And that lesson in financial intelligence, we could not have uh, have scripted any better. If you look, these kids are Bonnie. Say goodbye. So <laughs> anyway. Hope to see you guys. We'll keep you in touch from the road. Thanks, guys.